Hello everyone, welcome to another Blender tutorial. Recently I've come across a way that allows you to be quicker at doing UV editing. Um, I think it was last weekend, currently it's the 19th, so when was the last weekend? It was either earlier this week or, or the weekend that just passed. And I thought it would be interesting to show you as it helps with things like doing your windows or adding the coloured parts to your car. So your car can be, you know, titanium white, sky blue, etc, etc. Um, and then from there, we will use that technique and go into customising wheels. Now, I showed wheels um, in the first sort of video for this um, sort of series. And as much as that, that worked for wheels with sort of standard rubber tires and um, doesn't really work for all wheels in the game so what this will do is show you how to make a new material for your wheels and it'll be a lot quicker than what it used to be so this new method well not really a new method but this thing i found out um we go to the Fennec, which I already have a Blender file set up for. And we click the car and go to UV editing. So what I would say is you do your whole import or your um, like you import the body, you set it up as, as you normally would. But when it comes to doing things like your windows, this is where you come to this tutorial. <laughs> so we're in UV edit mode and we've got our car selected as you can see by the mesh. So we press A for all and on the uh, on the left here you see the UV map of the car. Now before what we would have to do is select individual faces, apply the mesh and go from there. This quicker way allows you to select everything from this left panel. So once you press A and you've got everything selected, you come over to the left here and up the top corner, you've got these two arrows, UV sync selection. You press that so it's highlighted. And now, because I know the windows are here, but for the sake of this tutorial, let's say you want to find out where the windows are. Well, we'll select the windows and, excuse me, and this is them here. So these sort of four objects here, these are all the windows. So what we'll do now is simply select everything from this left panel. Hold down shift and we can select again. And that's it. That's all the windows selected in a lot shorter of a time frame. <laughs> so then what you'll do is you come over to your material properties, create a new material. In this case, we have glass um, already set up. We'll click glass and then we'll just click assign. Um, so let's put this in contrast of what we used to do. So if I turn this off and I wanted to select the windows, well, now only the portion that we have selected is shown. And, you know, we can't do anything else. So what we'd have to do is then hold shift and go through everything again. And as you see here, we've also got part of the car, which we don't want. So already we have exponentially <laughs> uh, increased our, our time in, in doing this. So again, for doing, you know, these, these painted parts. So if I was to change the color, uh, let's say to red, you see how everything changes. Um, so Let's start with the front. I'll select that. Then this here, this is what's highlighted. This is the object that we've selected. So if I again go through holding down shift, so you can see as we select new areas, new parts of this highlights like that. And then you will just again click assign and then move on to your next bit. So we'll use this to find out where the object is. And then we'll select it all. And we'll just, we'll just carry on going and going and going. 
until everything is done. Where is it? It's over here. So now you don't have to spend all that time selecting all the UVs individually on the car, making sure that it is only the parts you want rather than natural body parts. Um, so this is a lot quicker and a lot easier. Um, what I will say though, for the Octane, for the Fenders, this this is going to be difficult. You will still have to do it by car um, on the car, simply as the, the Fenders are part of that UV mesh. The, like the painted parts are part of that UV mesh for the fenders themselves. And there's no separation there. Which is a shame. Uh, but yes, this is this is the sort of easy method for you guys um, to, to use now. So it's so much quicker. Um, I've made this scene. And uh, I have a Dominus scene as well. I made them pretty much in under an hour. Um, similar to my Octane one. Which, uh, which we've used quite a bit. But yep, yeah, that's that's the new sort of UV select method. Um, so yes, I enjoy. <laughs> enjoy. So, we've done with that, so we don't need that anymore, so we can close this down. Wheels. The... How can I explain this? <laughs> I've tried thinking of so many ways to explain this and I still can't can't think of one. So what we'll do is we'll import we'll import a set of wheels. I have the Aero Mage ready to go. So file uh import PSK. Uh where are we? 3D objects. No, that's not it. Downloads. Oh, it's here. Wheels, Aero Mage. So these are the Error Mage wheels. Um, if we go to UV editing, you'll see here, let's expand this so it's a bit clearer. This is where the UV map is. You see we've got all these like checkered marks behind it, whereas this side hasn't. And as you can see, we've got all this shit over here off of the UV map. This is the tire tread. The tire tread is it's either overlaid onto the wheels. So as you can see the star, this is the aero mage. So the tread is either overlaid onto the wheels or the wheels are overlaid onto the tread. I don't know which way around it is and quite frankly I don't care. What we're going to do is use this new technique, or again, it's not new, but use this new method um, and make a new material for where your wheels can go. So if we bring up the, the textures for it, here is the stars. This is the wheel itself. This is the error mage. And then here is the tread. This is, this is um, you know, the bit around the wheel. So before what we would do, or what I would do, is use the tread of the Cristianos, that rubbery sort of tread, and I would put it over wheels, where, but this wheel doesn't have a rubber tread. So, place select, and we're going to activate our new property, and we're going to select everything up until excuse me, this map edge. So pretty much, as you can see, we've got half of the wheel selected. Something to note, as you've selected this, you will see, oh, hang on, mic's in the way, you will see this gap here. So this tread only comes up to this sort of outer circle here, and the same for the other side. You want to make note of this for when you go to select by hand, this other half. So new properties, or oh, sorry, properties, new, new and assign. So if I go to here, let's set this up quickly, uh, shade in. Use nodes, 
Um, which one? Which one is this? Oh, it doesn't matter at the moment, does it? Uh, so let's use this one as the arrow mage itself. So I'm going to drag the arrow mage image in and just add it on. So this is what we would have before. So with the wheels, when you add the arrow mage um, decal, the texture for it, it will put it onto the wheel. What, what we're doing now is making a new texture so that the tread, this one, which is where this white goes, we're, we're making the tread. So let's go back into UV editing. So what we want to do, so that's the quick way over. But for, for the wheels, that's, this is over now. <laughs> now we're doing everything by hand. Um, so I want to select all of this, but I don't want to select anything here because we are, we're having to stick to this edge. This is where the tread ends. I'll just hold down shift and continue selecting. What I'll do is I'll probably fast forward this a bit um, until it's done. Cool. So we've got this other half the wheel all selected and we've stuck to this edge on both sides. So we haven't gone over onto the uh, wheel itself. So I'm going to come down to our new property that we made and I'm going to click the sign and we now have a white wheel. Back into shading, we're on our second material slot and I'm simply going to drag and drop our texture, the tread, in. And there we go, there's the arrow mage. Um, so from here, obviously looks a bit flat and a bit shit. So when you rip textures, <clears throat> normally you would get uh, bump maps or normal maps. So we're going to use one here. So I'm going to add normal map, connect these together. So the tread has got you know, a bit more depth to it. That is the zero, which is how it was. Uh, and you can see we got we got some depth to it. What I have found is that some wheels look better when you max this out. So normally this is around one. It looks all right, a bit shit. But if we max this out, it looks a lot better. So if I come back up to the error mage itself, we're going to do the same here. So I've got the bump map for that. Um, map. Oh, another thing is to change this sRGB into non-color. I need to go back and do the uh, do this as well. There we go. So non-color, and again, we're going to max that out, and then we can just mess around with our properties, make it make it metallic or shiny. And we'll do the same here. Not too much though. Something like that. And there we go. There's the wheels. And that'll be the same for uh, for whatever wheel you get. Uh, let's go back into this one. There we go. Um, it'll be the same for whatever wheel you get. Most of the time it's extended all the way out here. Pretty much double the uh, the width of a standard UV map. So just select it, and then once you've got that half done, which will take like two seconds, like we've just done here, then you go and select like freehand select uh, the rest of it. So that was a quick little tutorial for you guys. Um, I hope you find it useful. Apologies, I didn't know about it sooner. I did ask uh, ages ago to see if that was possible, but no one ever replied. Um, I said it wasn't until the weekend that's just gone that I actually found out how to do it. Um, so, better late than never, I guess. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I shall see you later. Peace out.